How's it going guys? It's going off grid. We're up to the cottage. Got my little boat here. It's beautiful. We have cleaned up a lot of the mess. Cottage is doing well. We brought in a bunch of sand. As you can see, looks a lot better. Slowly cleaning things up. And we got my 3.2 kilowatt hour I guess you can call it uh, solar generator or whatever you want to call it. Uh, 4,000 watt reliable electric inverter and 3.2 kilowatts of lipo pouch cells out of four uh, power its. Um, and then we got a 200 watt folding solar panel and a 300 watt folding solar panel. And I think these are Doku's. I believe that's right. I haven't seen the brand name in a while, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And these are great solar panels, but the problem is they're 12 volts, and these are 24 volts, so I have to use these boost charge controllers, which are not very efficient. Oops. Oh, what have I done? Now, I have definitely... Yeah, see, I just restarted it by accident. I don't even know if you can see this. see anything yet oh, I went my light on that'll make it worse here we go okay are we producing any power yet yeah see what only producing 53 watts and that I believe is part of the limitation of this controller or maybe I have the settings and wrong or who knows what but these ones here like I can put my hand let's see if I can catch this Okay, so we're at what? Around 60 watts. Okay, now my hand's in front of the solar panel. And look, we're still at 54. Look at that, there's my hand on it. I only lost four watts. So that's telling me that this is my bottleneck. Not this. These are putting out tons of power. But this here here is unable to utilize it and then same with this over here let's see here oh, this one's putting out oh, I just blocked it with my head there for a second let's see if you can see this I can't see nothing it's like 108 watts and I'm gonna put my hand in front of the solar panel same thing I lose a few watts, but I should be losing a lot more covering this most of this panel up. So I'm gonna have to troubleshoot and figure some stuff out because ah, it'll produce this power. Oops, I'll produce this power even on a cloudy day. That'll still produce 100 watts, and that usually that's at 100 watts too. So I don't understand that one right now. I'm wondering if my I just started this. These batteries are fully charged. Maybe that's why. Let's see, we are using 600, almost 700 watts. So I'm wondering, maybe I'll give this an hour. Once these batteries start to go a little lower, we'll come back and check up on it. But yeah, I gotta, I'm gotta, i gonna do a test and just see how many amps these can pull all together. I've had these for a long time now. I've used them quite often. Uh, and the funny thing is, is actually, they'll push the same current at 48 volts as 24 volts so I'm really starting to think it's it's just these crappy little controllers I might switch to this one right here and see if we can push some more it, the only problem is this one doesn't track you got to set it yourself and if a cloud comes over it screws everything up where these will track so yeah we just got an extension cord running all the way to my house trailer that is behind the cottage and yeah we're just gonna run off this this is to make it I'm hoping I don't have to run the generator at all Just definitely cut down on my usage and uh, yeah let's see how that goes see you guys in the next clip okay so we're in the house trailer my good old reliable finally kicked the button bucket it's uh, one of the first ones I had got it's not it's still working I think uh, one bank of MOSFETs went kaput because it's only putting out 106 volts. So, I'm going to have to take it apart and replace probably two, two or four MOSFETs, I don't know. 
and then it will most likely be good again. And now I have, this is the modified one, the upgraded one with the RGBTs, as you can see in there. We're going to put this one in. This has been left on 24-7 most of the time, most summers when we're up here. So it's not surprising that it went after about two and a half years, something like that. Anyways, thanks for watching. All right, so this is the inverter that was putting out only 106 volts out of the house trailer. It's in rough shape just because I've had it for so long and I've used it in many different projects. And this side is positive. This side's negative. We're going to just see if it works or if she's going to going to not work. All right, she's in business, back in business. Okay, so there is four transformers and the two fuses, the two tamp fuses right here, they were both blown. So just replace them, works great again. Awesome. Anyways, thanks for watching. That was just an update on this inverter. And uh, yeah, this is going back into the house trailer for a backup just in case I blow the fuses on the next inverter or what, what not. And yeah, thanks for watching. All right, so this is a 48 volt, 3000 watt reliable inverter. This is an oldie. This one has 20 amp fuse per transformer. I like that. The fuses go before the MOSFETs. That works really good. Um, I have another one, I believe it had let's see that's 20 amps per i think i had 40 amps per uh, the other one will do more obviously but the higher chance of blowing a mosfet and this one i killed the beeper if you don't like your inverter beeping when it's getting low like i i run mine till it goes dead every night because i use lithium i just the top part of the beeper you just grab with a piece of plier and you pretty much rip it off carefully without ripping the board off anyways these there's your input uh, MOSFETs there. These were the fuses that went right there. Those ones. And I replaced them. Inverter's back to normal. Works great. So th this seems to be a problem when you're, it's outputting low voltage. Um, you either have a bank of MOSFETs that went bad so whichever, if, if these ones blow, it's either these MOSFETs are died or you, you overloaded the inverter to a point where it burnt out, uh, burnt out the fuses. So if these go, it's these ones. If these ones go here, on this side, right here, it's obviously those ones, those ones to the ear, and so on. And then these ones up front here are your output MOSFETs. So those, as far as I know, uh, there might be a fuse in the front here somewhere, but I've never seen that fuse go. So, yeah, anyways, there, you can see there's lots of shmoo. Because this has been in an environment where it's used heavily. It runs an air conditioner in a house trailer, and it runs everything else in there. And Yeah, we're going to go on. Oh, when did I install this? A year or two ago? Can't remember now. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you later.